Snakes are common in many parts of the country, but bites from them are rare, and snake bite deaths are even more rare. Some snakes are non-venomous. Others are venomous. Refer to the Scouts BSA Handbook for more information, and follow these steps for treating the bite of a venomous snake. Keep the victim calm and gently wash the wound site as you would any open wound. Remove rings and other jewelry before the area swells. If the bite is on an extremity, restrict movement as much as possible. Keep the bite site at the approximate level of the heart. Do not apply ice. Do not attempt to cut the skin or suck out the venom. Do not apply a constricting band or elastic bandage. The victim should get medical help as soon as possible, so call 911 or your local emergency number immediately. Someone who has been bitten by a venomous snake might not be affected by the venom for an hour or more. Within that time, the closer to medical attention you can get the victim, the better off he or she will be. If help is not nearby, you and one or more others should carry the victim. As a last resort, help the victim walk toward help. Whether you are waiting for help to arrive or are transporting the victim, continue encouraging the person to stay calm. He or she might be frightened, so keep assuring him or her that you are providing care. Treat for shock, but don't elevate the affected limb. When a person is injured or under great stress, the circulatory system might not provide enough blood to all parts of the body. Known as shock, this condition can cause organ failure and can be life-threatening. Refer to the Scouts BSA Handbook for additional information and signals of shock. The first thing to do to treat shock is to call for help. 911, yes. Uh, I, I need help. Try to eliminate the causes of shock by treating hurry cases. Check the airway and restore breathing and circulation. Control bleeding. Check for signals of poisoning. Treat serious wounds. If you need to move the injured person, make sure it's safe to do so. Help them lie down. If you don't suspect back, neck, or head injuries or fractures of the hip, leg, or pelvis, raise the feet about 12 inches to move blood from the legs to the vital organs. Keep the victim warm by surrounding his or her body with blankets, coats, or sleeping bags. Never leave an accident victim alone unless you have no other choice. Fear can hasten shock. In a calm voice, assure the victim that everything possible is being done to care for him or her. A person who appears to be unconscious might still be able to hear you, so keep letting the victim know that you are there. 